today we are going to talk about a word that you might know from social studies but didn't realize it relates to math too. Today we're going to answer the questions. Number one, what is a hierarchy? And that's the word I was talking about. Back in the time of knights and castles and kings and queens, people were sorted into a hierarchy and you probably already knew that. But that leads us to the second question, what's it got to do with geometry? Well, this. A hierarchy is a system of sorting things by either by importance or by what's included in each group. So if we wanted to create a hierarchy of, say, the kids in our school, it would look something like this. Okay, there's our first category, which happens to be the largest category, all the students in our school. Well, we might want to create two subcategories because we wouldn't want to just take 750 kids and say, here you go, here's kids in our school. We would want to identify them a little more carefully. So, in our building, the way our kids are generally separated is this. We've got one group of kids that are primary kids and another group of kids that have to sit those state tests at the end of the year. All right, so that divides our kids into two groups. But we could find some more subcategories, smaller groups, in which we could sort them. In our building, it looks kind of like this, divided by grades. So we've got three primary grades, kindergarten, first, and second grade, and we've got three tested grades in our building, third, fourth, and fifth grades. Well, that even only breaks the kids down to about groups of 100, maybe a little more. So what if I wanted to sort them into an even smaller group? What would I do then? I think you already know the answer to that. We could divide them into individual classrooms. So here's our hierarchy. We have students in our school. For us, we're a tested grade. We're fifth graders. And then you happen to be fifth graders in Mrs. Clark's class. As a student, you're all of these things. You are a Clarkling. You are a fifth grader you got to sit those state exams, and you are a student at our school. You are all of those things. And if you're watching this video and you don't go to our school or you're not even in our state, think about how the hierarchy would change if it was at your building. So, what's that got to do with geometry? Well, let's take a look. There's a triangle, and if I wanted to build a hierarchy that would describe that triangle, I'd probably start with the largest category I could think of for triangles, and that would be polygons. And there we go. Well, there are all sorts of polygons. I put three up there. They're triangles, quadrilaterals, and pentagons. And I'm not going to worry about the quadrilaterals and pentagons today. I'm going to deal with a triangle. So, yep, that's a triangle, but there are also all sorts of triangles. And just to call that a triangle, okay, that works for a little kid. But we're older, we know more about triangles, and you would look at that and go, okay, so what kind of triangle? Well, you know that triangles can be classified by their angles, and those would be acute triangles, right triangles, and obtuse triangles. Well, looking at this, I see three acute angles, so obviously this is an acute triangle. So this triangle is acute, and it's a triangle, which happens to be a polygon. It's all of those things. But wait, there's more. Another way we can classify triangles is by the congruent sides. And if you take a look at our triangle here, you'll see that two of the sides are congruent. What do we call that? Well, it's an isosceles triangle. So here I've created a hierarchy. I've gone from the largest category, polygons, down to the next smallest category, triangles, to the next smallest category, acute, to the next smallest category, isosceles. So this triangle is an isosceles acute triangle that happens to be a polygon. Quite a lot. Could I have switched doing the sides and then doing the angles? I could have, and it wouldn't have made a difference in this case. So that's what it's got to do with geometry. We sort shapes from the largest categories down to the smallest based on their attributes. So today we have answered the question, what is a hierarchy? It is a system for take, sorting anything, but in this case, shapes from the largest category down to the smallest, most specific subcategory. What's it got to do with geometry? I can do that with shapes.
that does it. You guys have an awesome afternoon.